everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and we're going to be working on an unfinished project. Voila, yes, I have an unfinished project. Uh, yep, happens to me too. Uh, I had a piece of quilt, and I took two pieces of pink file folder and glued them down, and then I sewed around with a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine, and now I'm going to be turning this into a fun little um, a smaller journal, something quick and easy and just a different way to show you different things that you can use to make journals. They don't always have to be made out of book covers or chipboard or anything like this. This is literally file folder and a quilt. So the quilt gives it um, kind of a nice thicker feeling cover and also um, the file folder gives it some structure so it's not all floppy loo, you know. Now I took a bunch of papers and I had a talk with myself. These are mostly coffee dyed, avocado dyed, um, some specialty colors, um, Bombay ink dyed, things like that, some greens, uh, just some random papers, put them all together and I have 20 of them here. And this, I decided I'm going to, I could do two signatures in here, but I think I'm just going to do one fat signature. It just sounds like fun and easy and, and that's where I want to take this. So I folded these in half. Most of these are eight and a half by 11 average and just kind of see, and that looks pretty good. That's going to fill up that little journal nicely. So now I need to do my little quickie approach on how to get this to fit without doing too much measuring. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to, here it's at the bottom. You can leave it flush. Wait, see, it's not even flush. Okay, I'm going to get down there. Okay. The flush? No, it seems to be going in. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. All right, that's flush. Uh, but you can also pull it up about a quarter of an inch so that purposefully it is a, a quarter of an inch up there, which is good. Now, you're going to take a pen or a pencil or some kind of marking device and go across the top. Now, that's going to be higher. Did I get a mark? Not really. I need to make... Okay. Um, then my finger was there. Make sure your finger's not in the way. Okay. It's going to be probably quarter of an inch taller than I need it so I know when I actually do the line cut I should drop it down about a quarter of an inch. So here is just my my edge. I know I want to be in about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch in when I do my cut. So take that. I'm going to grab some bulldog clips. We can do this pretty quickly. This little journal will come together fast. Oh it's always dangerous when she says that because we never know the mayhem that may ensue. Okay so I'm going to use a craft knife because it's the easiest for me to get through a lot of thick papers fast. And uh, I'm going to use my craft mat to line this up to make sure I'm square when I'm cutting because these lines are obviously not very good. So take my thing and I'm going to line it up straight with one of the most inner lines. Hmm. I'd say there looks good. I'm a little I'm a little in from everything. I can always take more off, but I can't put it back. So if you're unsure, go a little go a little shy and go from there. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay, cutting away here. Almost done. Not cutting very straight. Could be doing a better job. It's always good to have a sharp craft knife. It will make your life so much easier. This one's probably getting a little dull because usually when it's sharp, it just goes through and you're done. It's very quick. You'll you'll feel the difference when you pull out a sharp blade. It's just it's like butter. It's wonderful. It really is. Um. Okay. <clears throat> okay, about a quarter of an inch in, making it the same distance from the craft mat lines. Down a quarter of an inch, down a quarter of an inch. Okay, let's hope it's not too small. I'm always worried I, I don't measure this right. Uh, I'm terrible at this stuff. But 
I carry on. I weather, I soldier on because we need to make the journals. It's time to make the journals. Okay. All right, there. That's when it works well. Okay, so I'm thinking it's always a good idea to know which end is up. So do yourself a big favor at this point. Find that pen you just had or pencil or something. Just make a dot, anything on the spine, just so you know that's the top. That's all I did is a little mark. Okay, really not going to show. You could use pencil and erase it if, that, if, you, if you feel better. That's okay. Uh, find the middle. Clamp yourself. Okay, that's pretty good. I think I only need one clamp there. That's fine. Now, we need to draw some dot. Okay, let's see if this fits at all. Did I do well? Oh, I think I did pretty well. Okay, let's take that out for a second. Did I? Did I cut straight? Now, remember this is fabric, so it's going to migrate a little bit so we can get it into the perfect... Oh, it's actually really good. It, it really came out great. Sometimes you just nail it, you know what I mean? Uh, and other times, not so much. <laughs> it just uh, it depends how the planets are aligned. There's the top. Okay, so we don't get all mixed up now. Just clamp that. Okay, so let's take this, and we're going to need three holes. Now, I don't know if I could sew through this. My machine would be really upset if I tried to sew and it doesn't work. Should we try that? We could try that. Let's try that. Okay, I'm going to try, and if that doesn't work, then I'll do the three-hole pamphlet stitch. Now, I know comfortably my machine will do 15 pages. When I'm going into the 20s. This is going to be a little bit risky. You have to know your machine. Don't use grandma's extra expensive quilting machine for this. Get some El Cheapo machine from Walmart that you're going to sell paper on. And like bring the sewing machine over. All right, here you're going to see it live. You can just see me destroy my sewing machine live on camera. Okay, so actually, let me get that other clamp. We'll clamp everything. I think what I'm going to do is clamp it right to... What well, you can't see any of that. Why, well, you're not looking in the right place. Um, I'm going to clamp it right to the book, right where I want it. Yeah, let's take that off, and let's put it right where we want it, clamp it, and then we'll sew it. Yeah, that, that sounds logical. Okay, let's get everybody's in there. That's good. Okay, we don't want that. Okay, you're good. You're at the bottom? Nope, you're up from the bottom. That's good. Just a little bit. Okay. So let's... Oh, now look, look, I totally cockeyed that. Okay, let's, let's just guess it pretty good and clamp it and then see. See how far we are off. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. We got, we got quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch all around. Ah, breathing easier. It's going to work. It's going to work. Think positive. Think positive. Okay. Now, I'm just going to basically sew down here, but I'm going to do it from the inside because I want to go right where that spine is. There's room in the sewing machine. It's the same color thread, and we're hoping all is well. Should I do a straight stitch? Maybe I should do a straight stitch. Yeah, I think I should do a straight stitch. I don't know why. So that would be a number one. I can find my foot pedal. There it is. Whoop, you can't see. Come on, let me get you back over there. All right, here it comes. Make sure these are out of the way. Put that down. Everything is everything is everything okay? No, no, something moved. This has migrated up a little bit. Let me clamp, no, clamp it down. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, there. All right, and going. Oh, what's going on? No, go for the. Make sure your little middle foot thing is signed up with the little middle. Oh, what's going on? Okay, here we go. I'm going to go slow. Oh, I've got my... my I, I'm going to stop right now. I think I should make these stitch lengths longer. So we're going to go longer. Okay, there. It's better. It's not as hard on the machine. Okay, everything's going smoothly. Don't anybody breathe. I'm going to go slow because I just feel like I should because I've got 20 pages in here. And I want it to go nicely. So this is an alternative to the three-hole pamphlet stitch. Me thinks it's going to work. 20 pages on a Project Runway Brother limited edition sewing machine happening right before your eyes. I'm not going to I'm not going to do the back and forth thing. No, I'm not. I am not. I'm just going right off the edge. That's what I did. I just I think it's going to show too much, so I'm not going to do it. Probably should have done it, but I didn't. 
I just think it's going to be fine. Um, okay, so now we get to see what it looks like. Okay, well that, that worked actually. Let's see, hopefully it's straight. You never know. You know, look who's driving. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, actually, and it's very secure. Oh, I like this. Now that's how quickly, you know, you can make a journal. Um, it doesn't always have to be a big fancy brouhaha, you know? Does anybody know how to spell brouhaha? <laughs> um, there we go. So we just fold it. And we're looking how it's all nicey nice in there. Now we probably, this is a good thing to do. You want to train the pages to lay flat. Somebody was asking me about how to get pages to lay flat in a journal. And when you do the three hole pamphlet stitch or you do a straight seam stitch like this down any signature, your pages are going to essentially lay flat. So it's very easy for writing and journaling and things like that. And um, yeah, so that's actually pretty cute. I like that. All right, so I think what I'm going to do with this little munchkin is Oh, you're cute. Maybe you want to come play with this. It's pretty. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. See, now you could cover the spine totally or not. I kind of like the exposed spine on this one. Um, we could put a piece of that here. That would be pretty. Or we just leave it as is and, and just leave it its soft self. Um, I do like that too. I'll probably do something with the cover. Maybe do a little bit of decorating. Hold on. Okay. I found this pre-made journal. Um banner. Maybe, I don't know what the front. Journal could put it on an angle. That's kind of cute. I don't think so though. No. <laughs> um, we'll step away from that. Oh, I think I might put this in here. That's pretty. So I'm going to put a few basic things in here. This is, um, oh, I don't know. It was how many pockets we got out of this. One, two, three, four pockets we got out of this. Let me get my, so I'm going to just put some basic pocketage in here. Um, it won't be a heavily decorated little journal, but it'll be a get you started kind of thing, you know, so you can have some fun with uh, decorating it yourself. And when you have mass made these things, it makes it very easy to just pop them in when you're ready. Okay, so just so you know, there's one, two, three. Four. So that's four pockets for the price of one book page. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so we carry on. And uh, I'm not going to go to the second signature, but maybe I'll go to the back half of this one just for fun. And what do I look at? This is pretty. Oh, I really like that. What can I do with this? I think I'm going to make this just a simple wrap around and let the person use it for whatever they want. So this is simply folding the page in half. This is just some hand painting that I did here. Um, there's a video on that somewhere. Um, <laughs> there's a video on that somewhere. Um, okay. If anybody remembers the name of that video, feel free to put it in the comments. How about that? There we go. I'm just going to paper clip this in here. I can pick up anything with these nails. I got them done extra thick this time so that um, they wouldn't break because when I'm crafting, I'm I'm rough on my nails. I use them as tools. So I asked for extra thick. I got, I got the gargantuan thickness of thickness. They're like so thick. It's like crazy thick. Okay. So now I'm going to go to like midway in the first half. And since that was a picture, maybe I'll put this picture in there. That's pretty too. <laughs> Is that, I'm just admiring my work. That's pretty too. Okay. So yeah, it's going to have to go this way. <clears throat> so painting or drawing or coloring on book pages is very fun. If you have not done that, I highly recommend you give it a go. Just for, if you got an hour or two, just sit down and start doodling on a page. It's a lot of fun. Um, okay, got that. And so then the back half, somewhere in the middle. What is this? This is an oddity. Oh, that's like a little, what is that? These are cute. Little um, book uh like ex libra things like um, book plates. Those are cute. These are handmade book plates. Um, these are kind of, that, look, that would look cute there. I think that, one, that one's already inked. I think that one will go right there. That's just darn cute. And it's just got to go there. So we're going to put you there. Again, this is Fabrifix, clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. 
you've never seen it, looks like that. And let's put this here. They can put their name here. There, very good. All right, we have that. Now we did that there. Did we go halfway through? I don't remember. We'll just guess and put something here. Okay. Now, since I have this, I really do like this. I would like to use it in here. And I think I will. I think I'm gonna go forward and use it in here. I'm gonna get my fancy scissors and just turn this into a big side pocket. So you can use a lot of things for pockets and tucks, things that you make, things that are already pre-made. You are not limited to anything because this is your junk journal and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, and this can be a nice little place to hold some ephemera or some note paper. If you don't have old ephemera, you can just like make some pretty um, stationary paper of your, your own. Okay, that's nice, I like that, okay. And this glue, if you catch it soon enough, you can just roll off any excess that comes out. So then we can tuck something in there. Don't know what we can tuck in there. Do we have anything here? What's that? Quotations from Reader's Digest. Here, we'll tuck that in there, that's kind of cute. Okay, I don't know what that is actually. Um, then we'll go to the back, the back quarter. And we have, oh, this is cute. This is a little fabric covered game card. Probably glued it with glue stick and then just sewed around in a fun little Tesla style way. That's what I'm gonna call it. And uh, she's gonna become a nice little pocket in this baby. Doesn't really have an up or down, so I think everything is okay. Yeah. Okay, there we go. A nice little pocket. We can put some, some fun things in there. I, I kind of put it over that way to cover the hole. I, don't, I didn't really have to do that, but I did. Nothing wrong with the hole, it's just paper. Um, how about here? Here's a nice little spot. This is kind of a fun little piece. Let's see if I can use it for something. This is, put some collage on the back. And this is actually tissue paper. Hand dyed, glued, sewn on. Looks like a spot came off there, so I'm going to, as we do, cover it with something cool, like maybe a sticker or a button or something fun like that. Um, yeah, let me come over here. We get a sticker, but I got a million stickers here. What do I got? Give me anything. I'll take anything at this moment. Okay, let's take this little pile of stickers and see what we have. Something that look cute. Oh, that's pretty. Yep, could totally do that. Let me put it this way. That's cute. It can stand up. It can be folded into a little something. I think I'm gonna leave it, I don't know, I just I kinda like it the way it is. Um, not something, something doesn't have, everything doesn't have to be something. That's what I'm trying to say. Thank you for spitting that out. That was not easy. Um, that was cute too. Maybe that, all right. Let's try that. See if this really is a sticker. I'm gonna sit here for an hour and get this apart. And everybody sends me tips on how to do this, how to make it less frustrating. It, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see what I'm doing. I'm fumbling my way in the dark here, trying to figure out how to get the sticker apart. Okay, we're gonna give this three seconds. If it doesn't work, we're gonna get another sticker. Oh, I think I got it. Okay, so we do have a three second rule. If it doesn't work, we're moving on. That's right. We will not be held back by any sticker. No, 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 no. I, I will stick the white back, the whole thing down. Because if it, it wants to be that married, it can be married. You know, I'm not going to break up that couple if they want to stay together like that. So there you go. Okay, here we go. We have that. All right. What is this? Nobody knows. Um, it could be a big bookmark. It could be just kind of a fun tactile thing. You remember um, squishy gel, that stuff we'd squeeze? I think it was called slime. Um, like it's just stuff to feel. Yeah, that's, that's all it is. It's feeling stuff. So somebody can now have the texture of this wonderful thing. I'm going to put some vintage photo on the edges of it just for fun. I don't know why I feel the need to ink the edges just so they know it's complete. I don't know, it's, it's still complete if it's not ink. There is no inking rule. I just came along in the age of inking when everybody was inking, so it's embedded in my DNA at this point to ink, getting that vintage-y 
kind of look. All right, that looks kind of cool. Uh, do I still want to put a butterfly on here? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. All right, let's see if I can get this part. I don't think so. This, this feels... I think this is just vellum. Or plastic and some... I don't know. Let's see. We'll sit here for one minute. Okay, one. Wait, three seconds. That was right. One, two... No? No? Oh, well, yep. Got it. Okay. I know you were worried there for a second. I was too. I was like, this is really sticky, so I don't think I need any extra adherence. There we go. We got that. Okay, let's get the pencil. Let's muck around with it like we do. What color is that? Brown? No, we want black. Where's the black one? Is this it? There it is. All right. Let's just go around the edge. Yep. Okay. Um, let me get a... Let me get a Q-tip and a little bit of water in the old hand cup. Now this is going to be on tissue, so this should be interesting. If it goes all hoggly woggly, we'll we'll cover it up. Uh, you, did you see I didn't cover my ink? We we need to do that. Try and remember that. Your life will be much easier. All right, here we go. Oh, you're way far away. Let's get you close. All right. Oh, yep. Can you see it blooming? I can't push too hard because it's tissue, but uh, that does give a nice, um, the focal point, a little bit of pizzazz. See, it makes it pop, which is kind of cool. I'm not quite sure what happened here. Let's get a little more in there. Okay, that's good. And that's what it does. Blend it in a little bit. Don't go too hard because it's tissue paper. Remind yourself, wipe this on your shorts. Okay, there we have that. I like that. It's nice. Okay, so we really don't know what it is, but we're just going to clip it in here. There we go. Right there. That's where you are going to live. Be happy forevermore. Okay, you're in. All right, so let's go back over here. Let's go closer to the middle, maybe a quarter way in. How about there? Um, some interesting things coming along here. What is this? Oh, I remember this. I don't know if you remember me making these, but these are these. These are fun. See? Ta-da! I know. What is that? I don't know. It's just kind of a fun little little um, thing. And you can just clip it right in. That's what you can do is just clip it right in. Okay, can't find a paper clip. All right, here's one. All right, so that's good. That's the back. Let's go. Let's just kind of put stuff here randomly. Oh, this was fun. And Oh, this is fun, too. This is a piece of real marbled paper. It was from a, I don't know if it's real marbled paper, but it's very old paper in the marble style from a ledger. There's some writing. But I thought that would make a cute little corner po pocket, right? Let's just do that. And we will honor its existence. Alrighty then. There we go. Very nice. Very easy to do. We're just going to let that dry. Whoop. Sorry. Okay. Go back to the frontish. Pick somewhere else you'd like to go. Maybe like two-thirds of the way in. Maybe here. Okay. This is very plain. So maybe I'll put something. This was sewing a, a piece of yarn in the zigzag stitch down to a book page. I think I folded the book page in half to make it a little thicker. And we'll put that there. I think that'll be a very nice pocket. Or we could make it a belly band. We could do that too. And we'll make it a belly band this way. Because then the text is the right way. So I think I'll do that. Yeah. And I'm going to just ink this up a little bit on the edges. That way it'll pop a little bit more against the coffee dyed paper. And here you go. All right. Alrighty then. And there. You are a belly band. Uh huh. I'll put something like that here. That was kind of lumpy. I don't know if that'll work. Yeah, too much. Maybe here. Oh, that might look nice. Let's do that. A uh, thousand and one. A thousand and two. Oh, I think I gotta go this way. A thousand 
and 37. I feel something coming up there. Oh, yeah. This, this is what, oh yeah. Are we there? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, test for stick. Sticky enough. These are really sticky, so I'm just going to put this here. All right, there we go. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, voila. It's like I drew it. Ta-da! Yeah, very easy. Um, probably on Etsy or eBay, if you're asking where I got those. And let's see. Oh, got you there. Now, you might have to go through and make sure no glue is sticking. That sometimes happens. It does. All right, let's try maybe here. Here's a good spot. Um, let's pick something else out of the little fun pile. Oh, this is neat. And this actually, this goes with that other Reader's Digest piece. This was just a cool thing from a Reader's Digest great encyclopedic dictionary. And I just took a piece of old book page, probably the first or last pages of an old book, which I love those creamy pages. They can be used for so many things. And I just made a flip up. It's just a flip up. So there's extra writing room in here. You could put things in there or just leave it blank so the person can put things in there. And I think I'm just going to glue it to the page. This is kind of cool. So this is going to be a fun little journal with some surprises. And I know as I get going, I start to decorate it more and more and more because I, I like to decorate. And um, so they'll come along and they'll go, oh, look at that. I can write in there. That's what they're going to say. I just know it. Um, I think I need more in the beginning feeling like it. Okay. Uh, oh, this pink is kind of cool. I think I could do a, like a belly band with this. Let's do that. I think I'm going to give this the old water spray on the vintage photo. Okay. Yeah, there, now we're talking. Oh yeah, that's always good. It's really good. All right. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Oh, that looks so pretty on that greenish page. Let's do it. Let's make a big belly band out of it. So this was out of an index card and some ribbon collaged on the front. That's what that was. And uh, basically just strips of ribbon glued down. Pretty easy to do if you've got a bunch of ribbon hanging around and you don't know what to do with it. Just make some belly bands. They're fun. Yeah, so somebody was asking me how you get variety in a junk journal, and it's sort of like this. If you ma mass make a bunch of things ahead of time, then you've got things you can pull and draw from that are probably unique because you made them on different days. And you... Oh, that's a nice word journal, too. Maybe that would go better on the front. That's kind of cool. Maybe try, no, it would have to be sideways. It's a little wide. Let's, you know what I mean? Oh, but we could do a belly band design and we could tuck something in there. Oh, that would be so freaking cool. We could totally do that. Yeah. But we have to glue it on. That actually looks pretty neat. Let's try that. Might decorate it up more, but let's just go with that. Put a significant amount of glue down here because I want this to hold well because there might be some pulling. I could even, I could even put a pen in there. That would be neat. All right, let's try this. Wait, let me ink it up. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, now we're talking. Okay, this is why we all get so excited about inking. Because it just looks so cool when you do it. Although it's not necessary and it's not mandatory and you don't have to do it. Okay, whatever. Some of us like it. Okay, there we go. Trying for middle, trying for middle. Oh, paper. Okay, eyeball. Squash. Looking good. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, I guess that, that's neat. I like it. Okay, so yeah, you're, you, there's so many things you can do with a cover. There's just a million and one things. I'll decorate that up a little bit more, I think. But I, I think that's pretty good. I, I'll probably do a little bit more to this journal. Um, but that's just a good little starter zone. And, and if you wanted to, you know, you can come along and tuck things in here when this is all dry. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to do it when it's not dry because that's what happens when it's not dry. So you just leave it alone and, and you demonstrate how you can tuck things in there. Well, basically, that's how you can tuck things in. They'll go all the way through when it's dry. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> okay, where are you? Hey, Foo Foo Pants. I know you're here somewhere. Oh, I see you hiding amongst the pillows. I'm coming your way. It's time for a pup day. 
Yeah, are you offering your belly? Yeah, that's a belly offer. Okay, we got a quick scratch and then off we, oh, I know moaning now. Okay, oh, what? You, you, no, no, put yourself together. You got the big makeup puff to come along, poof. There, you're all ready. You look fabulous. Oh, they, they're, they're just, they cannot wait to hear what you have to say today of all days. Hello everyone, it's Sunshine. Cub, pup reporter here, yes. Yes, I'm back in action. I'm together. I've collected myself. All is well. Um, seem to be a little sleepy at the moment. It happens. What can I tell you? I eat and I sleep and do other things. Yes, regularly, most of the time. That's pretty much it. Other than a little random play here and there. And I get a visitor every once in a while. That's kind of nice. And we're hoping maybe he'll come back today for a quick visit. But all is well. Um... Everything is calm. It's relatively clean in here. We're inching our way towards a cleaner craft room. We're not quite there yet. No, 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 no. But we're on our way. That's all we can do is carry on through life. We go forward. Well, sometimes we come back. But then we go forward again. And that's, that's how it's done, people. That's how it's done. <laughs> okay, thank you. Happy crafting. Okay. Sunshine. Out. Okay. <laughs> well, that was that was very deep. Um, we never know where we're gonna go with the little guy. Okay, I should be able to get this where we want to go. There we go. Okay. So it grabbed now, and I could put I, I'm gonna put something more interesting in there. But that was just just something fun. Um, so welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you've been around a while. I have a free monthly emailed newsletter where you get a digital image, a checklist of the supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and a page list of ideas in the freebie section at the bottom of every newsletter. It's an emailed newsletter. The link is down below the video to sign up. And um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. New audio material, and every other day of the week, you can watch video podcasts on Spotify, so check them out. I have an Etsy shop. If you see me use um, certain products on here, I try and put links in there so you can find them. It's an affiliate link. It does help my shop, but you don't pay more for the items because you use my link. So thank you very much. Um, what else? Uh, I have, I sell digi kits, which are printable, downloadable images, themed, five pages each. Um, let's see what we got here. That's something I can show you. Um, okay, this was for the, the holiday feast. Uh, so themed images, five pages. Um, there's over 240 now, uh, different themes, birds, Victorian, dragonfly, butterfly, forest friends, you name it, it's in there. And... Um, what else? I can tell you that if you don't like to print or don't have a printer, I will print 10 digikits for you. That will give you 50 printed pages, a nice lightweight cardstock you can use for journal tags, cover, uh, focus points, um, pockets, tucks, all sorts of fun things, belly bands, and there's more. Oh, all you need to do <laughs> is like blank uh, is sign up for the print and mail option and then give me the names of the 10 digits that you want. And you can email those to me to Pam at the paper .com, or you can SC message me those directly and I will print those off and mail them to you with free priority mail shipping. I also sell um, fabric packs for junk journals and also um, just fun things that you can use over 40 plus pieces, eight and a half by 10 or eight by 10 and smaller pieces to be used. Just random things, very fun, all different types of fabric um, in your junk journals. That comes with a special gift a bonus with this pack. Um, there's no code or coupon to use to get the bonus, but you'll get a, a handwritten letter that is about 125 years old, um, a vintage piece of newspaper and some vintage postage stamps and that also has free priority mail shipping. I also sell fundals which are collections of old and interesting papers and you get 100 plus pieces in there. Everything from antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, um, music pages, dictionary pages, science, nature, you name it. There's all sorts of fun categories in there. So lots of fun things if you're a historian or a collector or just want some really cool pages to play with in your junk journal, that's a great place to start. It also comes with free priority mail shipping. Now, um, what else, what else? Um, 
I have a merchandise shop, which is a t-shirt shop or um, like a stuff shop for the paper outpost. If you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. There you go. And um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group. Come join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. And remember, most of all, the fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.